monster truck industry has grown leaps and bounds. The big name in St. Louis is Bigfoot. Fans have been blown away by huge milestones over the years. But as Bigfoot pushes more boundaries, there's bound to be more bumps along the road. And that's where Brian Bertoletti steps in. He's shop foreman and the team's research and development lead. Every last person here is an innovator. We take something most of the time that is pre-existing and modify it, or we just build it 100% ourselves. Sometimes things break. Well, not just sometimes. And when things become a problem, that's when Bertoletti needs to find a solution. We're constantly re-engineering everything that we do. We're problem solvers by nature. When he has issues like he had with spindles breaking, he gets to work. And the problem that we were having was that we would shear the spindle off of them. They would crack under the bearing from the massive amount of load that we put on these when we jump them and it would work it back and forth and then it would break it off. And it's cast, as you can see, because it's extremely porous on the grain. The spindle is small compared to the size of Bigfoot, but Bertoletti says their new spindle is a huge innovation when it comes to performance. And we did that with 21 because we knew we wanted to go higher and further than we had with 18. This was designed to be for use with heavy equipment where it doesn't see the shock load that we that we show our trucks all the time. So we have to be innovators in that. Yeah, we reverse engineer some things every once in a while, but we also come up with new ideas on how to do things a little different. Spindles provide a location to mount the drive hub and bearings, as well as the planetary shell and braking system. In this case, the braking system is located internally in the planetary shell and utilizes a hydraulic brake piston. Unique to Bigfoot, the spindle design allows gear reduction and internal independent wet clutch type braking. Their latest truck, Bigfoot 21, is considered a game changer. Wanting to go higher and faster than what they did with Bigfoot 18, he had to make the spindles better and stronger to handle the force of the truck, and that required a spindle overhaul. And since the monster truck industry isn't a classification all of its own, and Bigfoot is kind of on its own island in Pacific, Missouri, Bertoletti says they created the parts themselves. So what we did was we actually designed our own knuckle and box and spindle. So everything together is, is what we call the knuckle. The box is cold rolled steel. It's all billet made out of one piece. Once we made it stronger out of 4140 preheat treated material, what we started doing then was it would move everything on the outside. This is the carrier that splines onto your axle and your sun gear, and then the brakes actually spline onto this. And that would fit in there, but it had all kinds of wiggle room. So what would happen with from all the load is it would move side to side and start to gald in here and start to wear this out and try to push the lip off. So recently with 21, what we did was we eliminated this part and went to a brass alloy and machined it so that we could get fluid up here and also made it smaller so that we eliminated some of that movement that was in there. And we got rid of the thrust washer that you can see the tabs are already bent up on it. So none of that happens anymore. It actually rides on this diameter and on this piece here and it just kind of wears the whole time that you're doing it. And then we keyed it so it couldn't spin. Providing durability and reliability for Bigfoot's advanced design and performance, that's the job of Bigfoot Problem Solvers. For HEC, I'm Kathleen Berger.